Yo, yo, yo. Yo, y'all hear me out there? Y'all hear me good? Y'all hear me good? Do I got to do a sound check? A check, check. One, one, two, two. What's up, y'all? Lockout men. Mates the call. That is right. Yes, sir. What's going on, everybody? I am back again with another call for you guys. Yo, if you guys want more, yo, make your suggestions now. Put your suggestions in the community post and put your suggestions in the comments below. Y'all get them up. I'll, ru I'll run them through the ringer and then I'll put them out there for you guys. Welcome back. 2020, make the call. You guys enjoying it so far? I hope so. These calls are for you new jacks. All right. You guys want to know about the trucking industry? Y'all want to know who to call in order to find out about these companies? That's what. I do it for you guys, all right? This particular call is to uh, Lessers, Inc. They're located out of St. Paul, Minnesota. That's my area. Love me some Minnesota. Y'all know why I like Minnesota? Because of Canterbury and Mall of America. And that's about it. <laughs> that's the only reason why I will go up there is because of those two places. But other than that, they're located out of uh they're located out of uh St. Paul, Minnesota. They are a over the road company with a few regionals. I already talked to the young man and he inspects you guys to stay out for about two to three weeks with about three days off. Now I'm not feeling that. I, I'm I really don't. I'm out for two to three weeks and I only get three days off and then go right back at it. Look, being that I get off every week, man, it's something that you guys, listen, it's something that you guys got to understand when you guys get into this business. You got to figure out what you want, how you want, and when you want it. You want home time, you got to find a company that is, that's going to give you the home time. You want the money, you're going to have to find a company that's going to have to give you the money. Now, mind you, in order now they say in order to make the money, you got to go over the road. That's not the case in some places. I already made a few calls so far that they're offering you they they offering you uh money, and you don't have to run that much, and you can still make the same. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But know that know this: when you get into the company and they bring you on then it's up to you to figure out whether if this company is good for you. All right? Lessers, Inc. Let's get into this call. Welcome to Lessers. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time during this message. For truck dispatch, press 1. For broker dispatch, press 2. For accounting and administration, press 3. For recruiting, press four. Last is Doug. Hey, Doug. How's it going, man? Good. How are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm interested in knowing a little bit more about how, how you pronounce this trucking company name. Less, lessors or lessers? Lessers. Lessers. Okay. Okay. I talked to uh I talked to a, a driver uh about a month about a month month and a half ago and we was uh he was giving me some good information about the company and I was just kind of curious uh if you got time to go over it a little bit more with me. Uh, where do you live? I stay out of Ohio. Where like Cleveland area? Yes. Yeah, that's what that's what's popping up on on my phone was Cleveland. So um, we actually do not hire out of that area. Oh. Um, the only spot we hire out of Ohio is the Dayton area. Oh, the Dayton area. Well, I'm I'm close to the Dayton area. I mean, that wouldn't be too much of a problem for me to get over there. I mean, Dayton ain't nothing but like thirty minutes away from me. Well, we we stick to a fifty mile radius from our locations. Because that's that's our deadhead we're looking at. So and, and it doesn't uh, do us a whole lot of good to look much further than that. Um, and you're 212, 
200 miles from from Dayton. Okay. But you know, just so you know, I mean, we are an over the road trucking company. Are you? I, I assume you're looking for over the road. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, over the road, regional. I was just seeing. I, I was just calling to see what what you guys have available or what you guys got. Um, you mind if I you mind if I still ask a couple of questions about the company? I mean, I'm still like I yeah, said, the, you know, the conversation that I have with the driver was still inter uh, interesting. Uh, sure. Do sure. You, do you guys do you guys offer CDL? training for drivers that don't have their cdls no okay so no we we require we require at least one year of experience oh uh, okay at least one year all right so if i decide to move uh if i decide to move to dayton then that wouldn't that wouldn't be too much of a problem for me but what about if i decide to move elsewhere you guys hire out of uh out of other parts of the of the country Absolutely, absolutely. In fact, I would say <clears throat> Dayton probably isn't even the. I mean, if you want to live in a good spot, you know, we're based out of Minnesota. We have a terminal down in uh, Florida as well. Florida is a great spot to live. Uh, Tampa area is where our terminal is, so you could live there. Um, Atlanta, um, we get to like the Charlotte, North Carolina area. So basically, um, the south, you know, we, the southeast get, region. Southeast region, even even the northwest, like the Philly area, works for us. Oh, okay. Um, yep, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth. Uh, we get out west. Uh, we have a terminal in Caldwell, Idaho. So we get out there. We get up to the, you know, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington areas. Okay. Okay. Uh, now let me ask you this. Now, now I got you said I got to live within that within that radius. So does that mean I got to drive to my uh? to my orientation no 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 if you lived in dayton we would look at you know flying or busing you to either minnesota or tampa for orientation oh, okay okay that's awesome now when i get up now when i get up there would i be in the hotel by myself or do i gotta share it with somebody yep no you'd have your own room oh okay that's awesome okay so all right so you guys offer a sign-on bonus we do not have a sign-on bonus, no. Oh, okay, okay. Now, what about uh, what what about uh, orientation pay or orientation incentive? Yep, it's a two-day orientation. You're paid fifty dollars a day. Um, you're provided. Uh, we we pay for the transportation, lodging, and uh, lunch. Oh, okay. Not the dinner, man. I I need some food for dinner, right? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta have my own money. <laughs> um. Yep. What what about uh pre employment drug testing? What do you guys do? Hair follicles? Uh we, we it's urine. Oh, it's urine not okay. So on the same question on the uh pre employment, do you guys will you guys have us to do all our pre employment like paperwork and all that good stuff before orientation or during orientation? Uh, both. Both. We'll have some stuff done prior and then some stuff dur um during. Oh, okay, okay. What's y'all? What 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 if I have my DOT card already? Though, can do do I still need to get a new one? As long as it I... has, at, as, as long as you have at least ninety days and you have a copy of the card in the long form, we'll allow it. Oh, okay, cool, awesome. What's y'all? What's y'all policies on felons? For what? Felons, drivers with felons, felonies. Um, it depends when it was and what it was for, and that's something the safety will review. I don't, I don't get into specifics on that. Oh, okay, okay. That's the same thing with uh, with drivers that got uh, that got DUIs or DWIs as well, right? Uh, DUIs have to be at least five years old. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So cool. Um, so you say about a year. You, you guys require a driver that has at least a year of experience before. Uh, look one year at, over the road, correct. One year over the road, and that has to be verified, right? Yep. All right. So, what's the cent per mile? I mean, what's, what will be my starting pay? Or starting? Depends how much experience you have. I, I mean, have. I know you mentioned. Do you? Do, I, I have five. What's that? I I got five. Five years. Yes, sir. You'd probably be looking at fifty cents a mile. Oh, okay. See, that's what's up. And I am very proud of this five years too. <laughs> took me a long, <laughs> took me a long time to get here. 
Now I can start seeing good money. <laughs> um, yep. Do you guys offer pay advances for uh, weekly pay advances? Yep. All right. What about uh? Now, do I get what about per? Let me see if I'm pronouncing this right. Per diem. Per per diem. Am per I, diem. Yeah. yeah. No. Oh, you, no per diem. Oh, that's that's a good thing too. How about uh vacation and holiday pay? Uh, yeah, vacation after a year. Mm-hmm. No holiday pay. Oh no, no holiday pay, man. So if I if I decide to go home for Christmas and Thanksgiving, y'all, I'm not getting no extra pay for that. No. <sighs> man, uh, what about breakdown pay, detention pay, and layover? Um, I I can't remember the figures on that to be honest with you. Oh, okay, okay, but you guys do offer it though. Yep. I, I, I'm the I'm the director of recruiting. I do a little bit less recruiting than the actual recruiters do, who are all gone on lunch right now. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I got the okay. big man. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. I, I'm resp- I, yeah, I'm. Res- I have my. I have other responsibilities, so I. It's not as not as much recruiting and, and actual talking to drivers that. But that listen, I, I I do appreciate the time, though. Thank you. I, I do appreciate the time, man. Awesome. Uh, what about what 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 do you guys uh what do you guys before I ask my next question what do you guys haul I mean what what will we be what will be our what will be what will we be hauling what what do we haul yes it we're we're a hundred percent refrigerated oh okay so do I need my hazmat for that no uh uh-uh. oh okay okay how many how many miles uh how many miles a week I can average with you guys we you know we see anywhere from 25 to over three for some drivers it kind of depends on the driver um how efficient they are with their time how hard they like to run that sort of thing every driver's a little different so oh, okay um if you're a good runner you like to run you keep that you keep that uh that door closed i mean our average length of haul is 1200 so it's mostly long freight exactly all right what about uh now do you guys run tolls will we will we be restricted not to run the tolls can we run the tolls yes you can oh okay all right uh what about a pet and rider policy you see i'm speeding it up for you yes to, <laughs> yes to yeah yes to both the pet what kind of dog is it i have is it a, a dog i got a mutt i got a mutt so yeah, one of, okay. One of them little purse dogs, the a chihuahua, a chihuahua. Okay, okay, yeah, that's fine. It's there's a two hundred and fifty dollar refundable deposit on that that they take out in the installments, and then uh, we do have a rider policy as well. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I, yeah, I was just about to ask you that. What about home time? Now let me ask you this: uh, being that I will be running those particular those particular lanes or particular areas would i be able to get home every week and if so would i be able to get no okay no drivers are out two to three weeks at a time with a day and a half per week off so if you're out three weeks you can have up to five days off if you if you would if you'd want it okay 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 so it's 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 pretty much a 34 not a full two days off Per week, or per time per per time that I drive. So well, you said you're I gonna, got. You're gonna be you're gonna be out two to three weeks at a time. So um, when you're out and you get home, let's say that you get home within two weeks, you're allowed to take up to three days off. Oh, okay. Um, but it won't always it, it won't always be two weeks. You know, it could be three weeks. Oh, okay, okay. What kind of uh, what kind of equipment that you guys have? What kind of equipment you offer? Uh, we run freight liners, and um, we have a, a three-year trade-in cycle on those, so they're all pretty new. And we have automatics and manuals. Bells and, and whistles in them. Refer- What's that? Bells and whistles in them. You know, inverter, uh, refrigerator. We we yeah we have an inverter and stuff. Um, they're not they're not owner operator spec, obviously. And then our reefer trailers are are recycled every four years as well. So. Uh, trailers are pretty all, all pretty new as well. Okay, let me ask you this right quick before I uh, before I get up off off here. You you guys run teams? 
Because I, I do have a no. per- oh, yeah, Okay. What about leasing? You'd have to be a, a company driver for up to six months. Um, get to know us. We get to know you. And then the opportunity to potentially do a lease purchase would be there. Is it a walk away lease? Or is it is, is... Uh, I, I We don't have a lot of lease purchase programs. Um, there's a gentleman down in Fl- our Florida terminal that handles the lease purchase program. Okay. So drivers typically deal with him. It's paid. It's a percentage pay, um, and he he has the specifics on that. Oh, okay. Okay. What's what's the uh, trucks governed at? Sixty-five and sixty-eight. So you got sixty-five um, on the foot, sixty-eight on the cruise. All right. And I guess I I I think I didn't. I don't think I did. But what's the benefits? What benefits do you guys offer? We offer a wide range of benefits, uh, health, dental, vision, 401K. Oh, okay. All right. Well, cool. You know what? Well, thank you for your time. I really do appreciate that you uh, that you took the time out to uh, to uh, talk with me about uh, about the company, man. Thank you Not a problem. Very, Not a problem. Much. How, how did you hear about us? Uh, you just driver referral, right? Actually, yeah. It's actually a driver referral. It was actually a driver referral. I was talking to uh, one of the drivers that was in the fuel island, and uh, he was telling me uh, about lessers, and I was like, huh. I I rarely, I I see your trucks out here, but I rarely see your trucks out here. You see what I'm saying? So, Mm -hmm. so yeah, uh, he said it was a good company to... uh, to uh, drive for, so I thought I'd give you a call and find out a little bit more okay. about it. Well, if you if you if you'd like, I can text you a link to our application. Um, otherwise, you know, obviously we'd have to get back to the whole you're going to have to move thing. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. So let me let me figure let me figure if Dayton's going to be a good <laughs> going to be a good city for me because I I was born and raised in Cleveland. I don't I don't have a problem driving right. to Dayton. I I can drive to Dayton, but Oh wait! Since it got to be Dayton, can I take the truck home, or we 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 can't take the trucks home? Yeah, li- living in if you were to live in Dayton, absolutely. Oh okay. Um, okay. If you yeah, our, our drivers that live a little closer to terminals, we require the trucks to come back to the terminal. I got you. I got you. But all right. Well, hey, what's your name again? My name is Doug. Doug, thank you very much, man. I really do appreciate it. And I like I said before, I appreciate the. The time that you're giving me about uh about lessers, lessers, yeah. Lessers. All right, no problem, man. Have a good weekend, and if uh, if you're ready to make a move, uh, give us a call back. We'll get you an application. Go from there. Tenfold, tenfold. Thank you very much. You bet. Bye. Lessers, yes sir, yes sir. Lessors, that's what's up. What do you guys think of that call? Lessors Transportation. Transportation. Let me see if I can uh, get it up on the back screen. Yep. Now, this company right here, man, they they look like they offer a full line of opportunities for you, man. I mean, just look at this. Just look at this package right quick. The pay, competitive pay, is based on experience, driving record, and the total refrigerated experience. Full-time drivers can earn a half a cent per mile, increase every since six months with no cap. They got stop and drop pay, which is $25. Holiday pay. Now, listen, the dude just said that they don't do holidays, but it says right here on their website, that is $50 paid to the driver that is not at home and under a dispatch load. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, he's right. I take that back. So they don't get paid. But if you're driving, hold on. There we go. All right. Keeps dropping. All right. So if you're driving, you're getting an extra $50, but you got to be driving on new year's memorial fourth of july labor day thanksgiving and christmas so you got to be under load and you got to be driving just to get the extra fifty dollars but if you want to be at home on those days then of course you don't get paid at all 
uh, paydays every Friday. They got benefits. They got 401ks. They got bonuses. A $500 recruiting bonus, which he just mentioned as as a sign-on bonus. A safety bonus. $1,000 for driving between 125,000 miles between January and December. Vacation. Rider policy. I think he also said that they got a pet policy, too. Yes, he did say that. Um, Start your career over the road today. Uh, let's see. Lessers, they they haul time-sensitive temperature control products to retailers, wholesalers, manufacturers, and distributors. We are committed to excellence in the con- customer service. This includes but not limited to on-time courteous and damage-free delivery of consignments. To fulfill this commitment, we maintain a healthy work environment for all our employees this accomplished through safe well-maintained equipment education and compliance with all transportation regulations yes sir lesser so what you guys think of that call i am going to give that call a four even though that he was the recruiting director he really as he said in his own words he didn't have that much information because the regular recruiters that he have are at lunch so but still he still gave me some good information i hope this information is good for you guys go ahead and uh, rate the call in the comments below let me know what you think of this call all right well that's it lessers you guys interested in them give them a call their phone number 1-800-2 or 233 I mean, 1865. 1865. Definitely give them a call if you're interested, but you got to live in a particular area for them to hire you out of. Unfortunately, by me living in Cleveland, they hire out of Dayton. I couldn't get it because I'm not in Dayton. But if I move to Dayton, I could probably still get there. Uh, they, they'll bring you in after one year of experience see what they see what they was about like i said i talked to one of their drivers and their and the driver was really excited about lessers they're located up in st paul minnesota which is my favorite area so that will probably be a plus so if you guys interested in finding out a little bit more give them a call and and see if it works for you all right so If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Yo, I appreciate you guys watching. Make sure you get me some coffee so I can get something to drink. Yes, sir. Get something to drink. (sighs) Drink. Yes. Ah. Anyway. (laughs) Anyway. Yo, you guys have a blessed one. Oh, Wednesdays and Fridays. That's when you guys could catch these episodes. Every I'm not I'm not going to say every Wednesday and every Friday. I'm just going to say right now Wednesdays and Fridays. All right. So you guys catch these episodes. Make sure y'all come back and watch. Uh, you guys have a blessed one, and I will talk to you guys later. Later, later. Peace. <laughs>